Authorities from the IRS, the FBI, and USDA searched several central Kentucky businesses today. And while officials confirmed they served search warrants, they have not said what they were looking for. Our Victor Puente went to Mount Sterling to track the activity. He shows us what he found. The unmarked federal vehicles pulled into the parking lots of three different businesses earlier this morning. We were just over here working just like any day, and uh, about 30 cars rolled up. They was in undercover cars, just everyday street cars. An IRS spokesperson confirmed they had agents working with the FBI and the U.S. Department of Agriculture to serve search warrants at several different locations. That included the new clay tobacco warehouse, the old clay tobacco warehouse, and Agwood Lumber. According to court records, all three of those businesses are owned by the same man. I went to his home to see if he wanted to talk about the raids. I was told he wasn't there and that he had no interest in speaking about them. Word of the raids began to spread across Mount Sterling. I heard rumors. I heard rumors they'd been at the insurance company and stuff, too. He's talking about the Ohio Valley Insurance offices on US 60. Agents there had stacked boxes inside the building, but wouldn't comment on what they were doing. A woman there screamed at me to get off the property. Deed records show the person who owns that insurance agency is not the same man that owns the other businesses that were searched. There at the end, they kind of come out with about four white boxes and shook hands and left, and that was about all we know. A spokesperson for the U.S. Attorney's Office said it was part of an ongoing investigation, but wouldn't comment further. In Montgomery County, Victor Puente, WKYT. The IRS spokesperson says the affidavits connected to that case may be made public later this week.